I'm Haley Berry reporting here at the Rose Bowl for the Daily Utah Chronicle and I have with me Kim Bernison, who is the sports editor for the Daily Utah Chronicle who has been covering the Utes for the past two seasons and talk about the quick start that the Utes had in the first four minutes of the first quarter. Well it was pretty amazing because Corey Butler Bird right from the get-go rushes for 99 yards. We haven't seen that from him all season long. We haven't seen anything like that from the special teams all season long. So it was that great start that the Utes needed to get rolling. Now they end up getting ahead 14 to 0 in early in the first quarter. What do you think was the problems that they started facing after that when the UCLA was able to come back and tie the game? It was those penalties. They took so many hits in those penalties. They they gave away 71 yards essentially and I think on that first scoring touchdown that UCLA had 50 or 45 of those yards were because of penalties that's nearly half the field that they get and it's like come on you guys got to get with it you guys can't keep giving away free yards so yeah what what was it that you saw from UCLA's quarterback that you said that may have given Utah trouble as well I just think that they weren't as prepared for him as they should have been I think that maybe they thought Rosen would have played Josh Rosen and I mean UCLA was really hopeful that he would play and so I just don't think that they were well equipped enough to handle Falkel. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so Joe Williams made an awesome game, had an awesome game today. He rushed for 332 yards, had 29 carries and four touchdowns. What do you think it's like for the Utes to have him back after he retired and then when they needed him, he decided to come back? Well, it's amazing that he came back. I mean, he was retired for 27 days. And then last week he rushes for 179 yards, I think it is. And then today, over 300 rushing yards. It's so bizarre because he did not start this way at the beginning of the season. He had these tendencies at the end of last season, but at the beginning of this season, he was off. He looked like he wasn't really ready to play. And I mean, today he sets the school record for a single game rushing yards, like amazing. So I think, those 27 days off while granted he was retired but like it was more resting in my opinion and they really helped him become this player that he is now mm -hmm. for the youth. So they prepare for Washington next Saturday at Rice Eccles Stadium a team who hasn't lost and who has blown out several other teams who were doing really well in the Pac-12. What do you think the Utes have to prepare for going into next week? They can't have any stupid plays, to put it bluntly. They can't keep having these unforced penalties because that's been a lot of their problems. Like they had a game where they had continuous false starts. They have this game where there's multiple pass interferences. There's holding the defense. They gave away 45 points. That's not gonna fly against Washington because Washington's gonna take even more advantage of this than UCLA is. UCLA doesn't have a run game. Washington is good on all facets. So it's gonna be really important for Utah to just click on all levels and I think the running game and the passing game are where they need to be but Troy could do a little more he didn't have any passing touchdowns today and they can't only rely on Joe I think Washington is going to focus a lot on him because he has been the focal point for the Utes the past two weekends so it's going to be a lot on Troy and he used to play for Washington so there's going to be a lot of investment for him and his family and he's going to be excited to play in that game like it didn't work out for him the first time, so. Now, the thing with Troy Williams is he has some good games, but he really hasn't had that standout moment. Mm -hmm. What is it about him that you need to see from him for the Utes to be successful against Washington next Saturday? I need him to have that deep shot. I need him to throw a touchdown for like 75 yards or something like that. He hasn't had that yet, and he, I mean, he's had good numbers is the thing. He just hasn't wowed me, and I would love to see him score a really long, long passing touchdown.